is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to show you how you can do this on your iPhone for free right now. Check it out. Plan a barbecue party for 10 people. Let it think for a second. Searching for barbecue party plan for 10 people. Great idea. Here are some tips for planning a barbecue party for 10 people. So, as you can see right here, I'm going to show you how you can use ChatGPT for, for free on your iPhone as you wish for as many requests as you want right now. So let's get started and I guarantee this is the best way to do it. So all you have to do is download an app. So go ahead and open up the app store and then go to search and then we're going to actually download Bing. That's right, if you're a little bit older, you remember Bing, right? The search engine which was supposed to be Google's competitor a while ago. Well, now it's got ChatGPT on it. So all you have to do is go ahead and download it. Of course, this is completely free. I have previously downloaded it before. And as you also know, Bing is also owned by Microsoft. So super safe, you can download it on your iPhone, no problem. So. Let's wait for it to actually download and install, and I'll be back in a second. All set, all you have to do is open up Bing, which looks like this. And as you can see, and as I mentioned, this is a Microsoft product. You can allow notifications if you want to, and then you're gonna have to sign in and join. Okay, this is mandatory to use the ChatGPT chat. And as you can see here, you're gonna need to sign into your Microsoft account, Probably you already have one. You can use even really old Hotmail accounts if you have it. If you don't have it, you can create a new one. It's super, super simple. I already have one, so I'm gonna sign into mine. And so after you sign in, you're gonna see home screen very similar to this, and your Bing Chat GPT chat is right here. So you can tap on this middle button and then you can already start using it. By default, you can see here that you can use your keyboard to search, but of course, you can also search with your voice. All you have to do is tap here on the microphone button, and then it's gonna migrate right here to the center, just like I was using in the intro. Maybe it's gonna ask you for permission to use your microphone, you can permit, and then you can start using it. On top of that, ChatGPT4 with Bing is great because you can choose if you wanna have more balanced answers, or more precise, depending on your activity, if you wanna have more concise, straightforward uh, replies in chats overall, or of course, more creative ones, depending of course, on what you want ChatGPT to do for you, okay? Um, let me give you a quick example just on how ChatGPT is so much better than Siri. You remember in the intro where I asked ChatGPT to plan a barbecue for 10 people, right? It got me perfect answers and recommendations and everything I need. What about Siri? Plan a barbecue party for 10 people. And it gives me this, which is rubbish. So articles on the web with nothing to do what, with what I asked for, and this is not helpful at all. And this is pretty much the biggest difference between ChatGPT, which can actually answer you and help you and give concise and helpful answers for what exactly what you asked for, and Siri, which is gonna search for stuff online. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next video as usual. Bye-bye, guys.